Chapter 10, section 5 is entitled Surface Area of Pyramids and Cones. We start with the definition of slant height. Slant height is the height of any face of a pyramid that is not the base. Height of any face of a pyramid that is not the base. Height of any face of a pyramid that is not the base. So we're talking about the height. We're not talking the distance from the top to the center as my fingers indicate. We're talking about the slant height. That's the height up the triangular part of the pyramid, which would be different than this distance. Okay. If we're talking this here, that there's a line you can hopefully see is the slant height of the pyramid. Now a cone actually has a slant height too. The slant height is just the height up the side. Not the height this way, but the height up the side of the cone. All right. Next thing I give you in that column are the two formulas you need. Again, one formula is a little bit easier than the other one, kind of like the other day on Thursday. There was one that was pretty much just put the numbers in and solve, and there's one where you actually got to do some work first. Same basic thing here today. Start with the pyramid. Pyramid has three main components. There's B, which is the area of the base, which is something you had the other day, so that's nothing new. There's P, the perimeter of the base. Something you also had the other day, that's nothing new. And then L, the slant height, which we should just define that is new today. Formula for surface area of a pyramid then is B plus one half PL. B plus one half PL, where B is the area of the base, P is the perimeter of the base, and L is the slant height. <coughs> The other one, the one that I perceive to be a little bit easier because it's mostly calculator work, is the surface area of the cone. Two components there, you've got R, the radius, which is the distance from the center to the outside edge that you're familiar with, and L, the slant height, which we can just define that's the height up the side of the cone, not from top to the middle of the, where the radius would be, the center of the circle, but the height up the side. Formula there, pi R squared plus pi R L. Pi R squared pi R L. And as we did the other day, we'll have pi equal 3.14 so we don't have answers that go on forever. Pi R squared plus pi R L. Now the notes on the board are divided up just like they were the other day too. Across the top you've got all the pyramid problems and top, across the bottom you've got all the cone problems. As you can see, next to each problem, I've also already written the formula because, as you know, that's the first thing I like to do. So I already took care of that step, too. All right, we'll start with the pyramids. Now, as you can see, example three, they give you a little bit more detail than they do in one and two. I will tell you that if the base is something other than a square, or a rectangle, a four-sided shape, they tend to give you more information because it's harder to find some of those things if the base were to, say, be a triangle. All right, so you could expect, and I'm talking about the homework, obviously. So you can expect in the homework if the base were to be like an octagon. They're going to give you B, they're going to give you P, and the only thing you'll have to actually figure out is L, the slant height, which should make those problems a little bit more palatable. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at example one. Example one is a, I guess it's a rectangular pyramid because the bottom is 3 by 5, but this will have to work. All right, so B plus 1 half P L. First thing is B, the area of the base. Now, in a four-sided shape, this type of four-sided shape, it's length times the width. So the one side is 5, the other side is 3, so we're talking about 5 times 3, which is 15. All right, now the next thing says plus 1 half, plus 1 half doesn't change. 
The next thing there is P. P is the perimeter of the base. Again, the perimeter of the base is when you add up all the sides of it. So we know that this side is 5, so this side would also be 5. This side is 3, so this side would also be 3. So we've got 5, 5, 3, and 3 to add up there. And that's going to give me 16. And the last thing we've got there is L. Again, L is the slant height. That's the number we haven't used yet. That's the six feet number going up the side here. As you can see, that does show up as a dashed line, kind of like a hidden line there. So you'll have to watch out for that. That's this one here, the six feet number. So L is six. All right, so just a little bit of work to figure out here on this right side. I've got half of 16 times six. So it's 8 times 6, or 48. 48 plus 15, which is going to give me 63. And that would be 